1955, William Coleman, a decorated World War II pilot, took off from Miami on a routine flight to deliver a B-25 bomber to an air base in Mississippi. My co-pilot said, look at that bright spot up there. I think it's just a reflection of the sun, a craze probably in the windshield. He and his passengers, two aviation engineers, realized it was a strange object making a rapid descent right across their flight path. My God, look at that thing. Now open it up to max continuous power. Here we're, we're clipping right along at over 300 miles an hour, right on the treetops. So I'm right on the tail of the thing. And as we got close, I said, it doesn't have a tail, doesn't have any wings. Look at the shadow on the ground. The shadow is perfectly round. That's not an airplane. And I said, I'm overtaking it. So I said, hang on. So I'm going to make a hard turn. There it was, a disc. Going across the field with two big swirls. What I didn't see was any exhaust, propulsion, no rivet lines a rounded edge about that size where it all came together. A true flying saucer. Then it seemed to vanish until they spotted it thousands of feet above them. Bright yellow sunish looking object. It went like a bat out of hell. After they landed, the stunned witnesses were separately debriefed by Project Blue Book, the Air Force investigation of the UFO phenomenon. Ironically, a little over a decade later, Colonel William T. Coleman became public spokesman for Project Blue Book. <laughs> 